So welcome back to this week's stat show. We've got quite a lot to look at this week. We're going to look at Berahino and how we can get him scoring maybe. And then we're going to look back at the Everton match to see what that can tell us about the Arsenal game. So on to Berahino. A lot of people have been suggesting that we maybe need to play him up front with someone to really get the best out of him. So I took a look at the stats for that and unfortunately they they really do tell us that Berahino is a lot better on his own and he really doesn't thrive when he's partnered with another striker. As you can see, as his career has gone on, he's become more accomplished at playing up front on his own or even moved out to the wing, whilst at the same time he's shown that he, he really gets lost in a front two and struggles to have any effect. When he's playing up front on his own, he's scoring between one goal in 180 minutes and one goal in 270 minutes, whereas when he's moved up into a front two, he barely even scores one goal in every five games. It's also worth noting that Berahino played a lot of last season up front with Crouch, with another striker, and still struggled as much to even get into the game uh, as much as people are suggesting he's struggling to do up front on his own. And moving forward to look at the Everton game and what that can really tell us uh, going forward into the Arsenal match. And one thing that was clear was there seemed to be a shift in the defensive system Stoke were playing. And the stats show us that there has been a switch from a reactionary style of defence to one that controls and foresees danger. There's a sizeable increase in the amount of interceptions compared with our trip to Goodison Park in 2016 compared to the one with this weekend. Stoke have 25 interceptions this weekend, which was the most of any side in the Premier League. And also you can see that there's been a shift in the amount of uh, tackles that Stoke attempted to make. And most people might view that as a negative, but actually it needs to be viewed as positive for two reasons. Firstly, the drop-off made Stoke a large more amount more clinical, with Stoke only losing one tackle in the whole match. And secondly, it's because in many respects, less is more in defence, and especially with tackling. As Paolo Maldini said, if I have to make a tackle, then I've already made a mistake. So this suggests that Stoke have really got themselves together. So what can this tell us going forward into the Arsenal match? Well, this new defensive organisation will be crucial to any success that Stoke have. And as well, it will be really crucial to being able to exploit Arsenal's weakness, which is their defence, as they really struggled last weekend to keep Leicester away. Arsenal conceded the highest XG of any side to win at the weekend, and Stoke conceded uh, the lowest XG of any side to lose. So this suggests that there may be a small chance that Stoke have the ability and the, the plan to get that traditional win at home to Arsenal and make up for that 4-1 thrashing last season. So that's all for this week's Stats Show. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave it a like. Make sure you leave a comment for stuff you want me to talk about in the future. And subscribe to the Bear Pit TV.